Okay, welcome back. Part 4 here of my file upload tutorial. And in part 3, all we did was we modified our index page here, connected to our database, and uh, we added some extra fields in our form. So, uh, up here where we get all of our information for our file right there, uh, right above this, we're just going to get the uh, title uh, from our field, so dollar sign underscore post, and like always, for everything that's post, it's in the post method, uh, following the same syntax. And we need the description. There we go. So right there, we just get these things. So right here, we make sure that in our our first. Uh, if statement after we've checked to make sure our button has been pressed the uh, submit button right there after we make sure that's been pressed we get all of our information and then we make sure a file has been selected now what we're going to do is we're going to create another if statement and we're going to make sure that the title and the uh, description has been pressed so right there so we're going to make sure that the title and the description, two and signs, right there. And then we'll just throw this in here. Bam. Else, and we're just going to echo out. Sorry, you guys can't see that. You did not, uh, you did not fill in the form completely completely there we go and so you do not fill in the form completely and then we need our form right there so if I just click submit you see we didn't select the file we select the file click submit you didn't fill in the form completely so all is well um, so now what we're gonna do is first of all I'm gonna indent these this stuff right here Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to connect to our database, and since our file, or our title and description has been um, uh, included, or, or gotten rather, we need to create a query to insert this into our database. So, we're going to say uh, query equals mysql underscore query parentheses and your quotations inside. So we're going to say uh, insert into and our data or our table name which if we go back in here you can see is files which we also did in part three into files and the values of so our first one is our ID which is auto incremented the next one is our title, so title. Might help if I take off caps lock. Scroll over here. Then we have our description. Description, yeah, it's spelled right. And then we have the, uh, the last thing, which is our date, which I'm just going to put in a date variable, which I just remembered we have not we have yet to create this so dollar sign date equals date right there so this is how you uh, use the date method or date function to uh, get inform get the date so we're just gonna make it simple and we'll say day month year right there so if we blank out our query and our move upload or comment it out rather and we just echo out the uh, dates so we need to just put in some random information select the file click submit see we have the date here so Monday March 22nd or uh, 2010 rather so we want this to be a lowercase d refresh resend so it's the 29th of March, and it is 2010. 
So I'm actually going to put this as month, day, year. Very indecisive. There we go. So March 29th, 2010. And if we change this to a lowercase m, so we have 03, 29, 2010. Okay, there we go. So that's how we're going to have our date set up. And uh, okay, so if we check back on our files, you see nothing else has been added in here. Um, now, what we're going to do is after we insert into our database, which I just remembered, we need an additional field. So we're going to go to structure. And we're going to add one field after, we should go with after title and click go. And this is going to be the uh, name. Now, this is going to be set to a varchar of, I guess I'll set it to 50, which uh, you may not want to set it to 50, but I'll explain, I'll explain why, why we're doing, uh, doing that in a moment. So, <coughs> um, so we have our query, which we are not going to insert anything in. So after we have our date, uh, we don't need to display it. So after we have our date, we're going to create another variable, and we're going to call it char set. And our char set is just going to be a string. Now, uh, how we're going to have this is it is going to be just uh, letters and numbers. So I'm just going to type in the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Oh, whoa. M, N, O, P. Okay, so I just typed in the alphabet real quick, and we're also going to throw in numbers. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, need two nines. So the reason we're doing this is because we're going to create an additional uh, folder for every single file that is uploaded. Now, what this does is it makes it so each um, each file can be uploaded multiple times, and it'll just be completely random. Um, we'll just be randomly selecting a value uh, of probably about 10 or 15 characters from this, and then we're going to be then inserting that into our database. So yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run a. Uh, we need to create some more variables. Uh, now we're just going to call this one length. So length, and I'm going to set it to 15. Now the length is going to be the length of the value that we're going to generate. Now. Um, our value is just going to be something completely random. It'll be something like this or something, throwing in some numbers and whatnot. But it'll be however long you want it to be from right there. So um, after we have our length, we need um, a for loop. So for, and then we're going to say dollar sign i equals zero colon, and then dollar sign i is less than or equal to our uh, length, and then um, dollar sign i plus plus. So, uh, and we'll just throw these in here. So, what this is going to do is we're creating a variable, and we are getting the length. We're getting this variable, and we're going to run through this for loop. Whatever in here, right here, whatever's in here, we're going to run through it however many times this is right here. So in this case, however long is our length, which is 15 in this case, we're going to run through it every single time, and we're just going to randomly select a value from here. Um, so yeah, uh, let me just check something. Okay, I'm hitting about nine minutes here. So I'm going to stop this video now. Um, in the next video, um, we'll just continue on with this and hopefully uh, get that much closer to uh, finishing this up. So. Uh, check out the next part.